show that it's now not just terrorists that are being targeted, it's anybody vaguely associated with anything that the government doesn't like or wants to brand as terrorism, regardless of whether any actual terrorism has taken place. And the legislation specifically states that, that no terrorist act needs to have been committed and that the people who are being targeted don't need to be aware that they are somehow associated with this. We're seeing the secret courts, the secret legislation, the prosecution only trials, the, um, the whole thing is just, insane and as mm. far as i'm concerned what's driving that is the privatization of spying it's that they've introduced a profit model which means you have now all of these subcontractors and contractors it's not even the intelligence agencies themselves as much as it is who they contract the work out to and then who they contract the work out to and when you expand the so-called intelligence community to encompass um this behemoth structure of all of these private companies well what do you need to make more profit you need growth and what does growth mean in the surveillance industry it means more targets and if you need more and more targets then what do you have to do to get more targets you have to expand the definitions of who you can target